In this tutorial, we'll learn how to create a plan using tools and functionality in ArcGIS Urban. Specifically, we'll focus on corridor planning using the City of Boston. Population growth is occurring in this area at an average of 80 large development projects a year. In order to increase density and control the effects of urban sprawl, zoning provides the city's primary tool to guide where this growth occurs. Let's do some creative thinking to understand the implications of creating new zoning rules. For example, here in Boston, the goal is to reimagine Dorchester Avenue, a 21st century industrial use corridor while balancing new development between the historic downtown and Dorchester Avenue. To create a new plan, click the Add button in the upper right of the header in the overview. Select Plan. In the bottom right, click the Tilt View button to switch to a top-down view. Adjust the view to include the area surrounding Dorchester Avenue. On the new toolbar, click Parcels to include the parcel data in this plan. Draw the plan boundaries and double click to finish the drawing. Click Add Plan in the blue tool header. Specify the plan's name. I'll call this Dorchester Avenue. Add a description if you'd like and input the start and end dates. Under Options, check Featured. Click OK when you're finished. Your plan is added to the list of plans and to the map view. Once a plan is created, it can be edited and analysed. Because Boston is a city that's already built out, individual property decisions guide all growth. The Boston Planning and Development Agency applied the data that developers look to in order to better understand why properties have redeveloped in the past. Using ArcGIS Urban, we'll explore build-out scenarios based on that underlying zoning code. By default, the plan is private and populated with the following scenarios. Existing conditions. This is the current scenario comprised of parcels and zoning that can't be modified. And scenario one. This scenario can be modified. We'll use scenario one to build out conditions based on existing zoning, and then we'll create another scenario to imagine development when the underlying zoning is changed. Let's configure scenario one and add the second scenario. On the plan details card, select the options button and click configure. In the plan settings dialog, click the scenarios tab. Click scenario one to expand it. Under name next to scenario one, type business as usual. At the bottom of the scenarios tab, click add scenario. For scenario name, type in scenario 2.av zone change. For based on, leave it set to existing conditions. Click OK and click OK again. The scenarios are updated on the plan details card. On the plan detail card, click options and select edit. The toolbar changes to show parcels mode. Here you can see Urban has pulled in existing zoning around the plan area. Using ArcGIS Urban, we can propose new zoning changes and explore build out scenarios based on that underlying zoning code. Select Scenario 1 from the Scenario Selector. Click the menu button and uncheck Existing Buildings. In the top right hand corner, select Zoning. Select the current zoning area in the view. Click Modify. There's a breakdown for every zone in the city, including existing and proposed zones. Scroll down to the highlighted zone. In its existing condition, this area is zoned as industrial. Let's use the business as usual scenario to build out this area based on the industrial zoning type. Click the menu button to close the table of contents. Select Development and use the selection tools to select the following parcels. Click Modify to get the building type side panel and scroll down to Low Rise Residential. 
Click on Low Rise Residential to apply this building type to the selected parcels. Select the two adjacent parcels and use the same workflow to apply the industrial facility building type to the parcels. Click Capacity to see the numbers we'd create for population, households and jobs based on the existing zoning. Next, let's look at how these numbers change when we change the underlying zoning code. From the Scenario Selector, select Scenario 2.av Zone Change. In the upper right, click Zoning. Select the zone area in the view. Click Modify. Scroll down to Residential Mixed Use 4. Select the zone in the results to apply it to the selected zone area. Click the label to view the definition for this zone. Under Allowed Space Use Types, it says Any Space Use Allowed. This will give us the flexibility to add a variety of different building types to the zone area. Click the X to close the panel. Zoom in to focus on these four parcels. Click Development and select the following parcel. On the Workflow Toolbar, select the Split Tool. Draw the split line down the centre of the parcel. Double click to finish the line. Select Split to apply the operation. Repeat this process to split the other three parcels. You can split the parcels in the same way that I'm doing, or feel free to experiment with different parcel configurations. Next, we'll apply a mix of office, retail and residential building types for this proposed scenario. Select the first parcel you created and click Develop. Now click Modify. From the list, select Low Rise Office with Retail to apply it to your selected parcel. Repeat this process to apply a variety of building types to your selected parcels. I've used Retail Urban Department Store, Low Rise Residential with Retail, and Main Street Retail with Residential. Now we've applied several zoning factors and generated plausible buildings for redevelopment, let's take a look at the Building Capacity Dashboard. The dashboard opens, showing summary building capacity indicators for all new buildings in the current scenario. Switch to Scenario 1 to view changes in the capacity indicators. Now let's view the capacity indicators if we build out the entire plan area based on the two scenarios. With the change in the underlying zoning, we can drastically increase the population, households and jobs in this area. If you'd like to visually compare the existing conditions and the proposed design, you can take advantage of Street View. On the toolbar in the bottom right, drag and drop the person icon onto a street you'd like to explore. A great advantage to synchronising views like this is that you can see your proposed design side by side with existing conditions on the street. For example, on the left, there's a project under construction indicated by the red building. On the right, we can see what that construction project looks like from the street level. In this tutorial, we used ArcGIS Urban to create a plan and scenarios to visualise the redevelopment of Dorchester Avenue in Boston.